In this tutorial, we want to look at how to mirror things in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.90.1. Okay, so let's uh, introduce an, uh, uh, something in here. Let's put in something like a cone. I put a cone. Normally, when you want to mirror something, the mirroring is done along the uh, around the object's origin. So let's say we have something like uh, this object here, and there are many ways of mirroring things. First of all, I'm going to look at when we use the um, the uh, modifier, uh, mirror modifier. So you go to the modify property, and then when you press it, you come here and it says add a modifier. So you select what modifier you want to use. In this case, we want to use mirror. So we press this, and then let's say, if, I mean, this if the initial thing is mirrored along the x axis and you will see nothing so i just remove it and let's mirror it along the z, z axis you see it's mirrored like this now one thing is in case let's put another object uh, there and we want to uh, the uh, mostly people don't uh, people mirror things by maybe giving some kind of distance in between so let's go here we go to object uh, uh, add again and now we add something like a cylinder and now uh, with this cylinder i will just um select it you can either um move when in case you want the you know the this cylinder here if i go to move mode and i move it somewhere here you see it went with the the movements i did it went with the uh, origin or object's origin but in case okay i'll show you how if you are in the object mode you can uh, do it but normally i would advise to be in the edit mode i'll show the two though but let's be in the object mode now if you want to move the uh, origin back to where the cursor was what you, the, you can just go to object and go to set origin and then you can set origin to where the uh, origin to 3d cursor so the origin has now moved to the 3d cursor and now if i want to um if i want to um, do a symmetry of this i just go here again come here as usual and then you add a modifier you want to do a, a mirroring now if you mirror it maybe in the in the uh, y direction you see that it gives us uh, another one here another way that um people uh, which is uh, reduces a step maybe let's put another object let's add and then we add another thing like let's add we add a sphere okay so now uh, i would um, if you want to leave the center of the object without going through the next step of first of all going to objects and moving the um the object origin to where the cursor is first you can just go to ob uh, edit mode when you go to edit mode and now you go to move you want to move it now if you move it you will see that the the it did not come with the with the um, this center here this is not for this but this uh, this is the object origin of this thing here so as you are here now now you can uh, now go into your uh, come here again and then you can add a modifier if you want to do um, a mirror let's say now we want to mirror in the um z, uh, z direction so i just come here and then you see you have your your mirror here the nice thing about this um using the mirror modifier and not just using a mirror uh, just mirroring something which you can also do without using the modifier is that you what you can do changes to this thing here and it will be affecting this for example if i um come here okay this is already selected so i use this and then i go to maybe the face and i select the face and then let's say i, I want to extrude the face so i do something like this 
or I do. You see, whatever I'm doing there is affecting my what I the symmetry. If you see that there's perspective view, that's why this looks bigger than this too. So this is how you can use the um, mirror uh, modifier in Blender. Now another way to mirror something without using this um, uh, tool here, the mirror modifier, is to go to objects and mirror whatever you want to mirror. But first of all, for you to be able to do the mirror, you need to have a pivot point where you would want the mirroring to be done. This one is not necessarily uh, where the object origin is but rather where the pivot point is so what we will do is that first let me move maybe this uh, cube up a bit here now i i know that normally we, the pivot point or where here by default the pivot point is the median point but now i want to change it to um the 3d cursor so i'll go here you come here and change it to the 3d cursor now the pivot point moves here because normally it's at the origin of the object now if i want to do a symmetry what i need to, or mirror this i all i need to do is that i need to do a duplicate of this so i, I can right click or right sh just shift d will do a duplicate but if not if you are new just right click it and then you do a duplicate and then you press for it to stay there now you know this is where you want it now the duplicate is what we are going to mirror so we go to a mirror and then you can let's say we want to mirror it to in the Z global so you just press this and it's mirror set now the next thing we want to look at is this uh, symmetrize tool so I would I have a sphere here I would go to the edit mode and let's say that I choose faces and i want to select maybe two faces here yeah. go to shift and then select these two faces and maybe just we extrude it just for now we have something like this and uh, the next thing i would want to do is maybe um i select everything first i go here and then let's select what uh, we've extruded and everything you know so i'll go to i'm in the faces i'm shifts and then i've selected everything or oh, let's go let me go to the um wireframe so i know i am selecting everything i go to this and do this so I select everything. Now, what I want to do is that I go to uh, mesh and then I go to um, symmetrize. So I press symmetrize. In by, by def this, um, I've used it. So this by default I think is minus x to x, but I had done something, so it did it to minus um z to z let's change it to this and i go to minus a uh, plus z uh, to z so it's it took um what is here this is plus and then brought it here so you understand i hope you understand it's like the pl this is plus z and then now the direction was from plus z do a symmetry considering this um uh, the z uh, uh, line and then you get this so in reality if i want to move this for you to see you see where i selected the things that whatever i selected is repeated at the other side but in the in mirrored in the z direction so this is how you can use the symmetrize tool um, also thank you for watching if this helped you in any way please help me by subscribing to my channel or giving me a like thank you bye